Hi everyone, I hope you have all been good. I have been good on my part. And today I felt the need to talk about which way to use uh, the pros and the cons when you want to migrate internationally as an international nurse. So whether you should use an agency or you should be self-sponsored for USRN immigration so let's get um so whether you should use an agency or you should self-sponsor yourself that's all about preference and some few uh things that i will list and before any decision i just ask god to guide me so that i can know which is the best decision for me and as you all know i use the agency way and i'll come down to that when i start discussing about the agency so we'll start with the self-sponsored and for this for the self-sponsored one of the major things is money finances because most of these things you are paying out of pocket for yourself and it can be a bit expensive especially if you don't have like adequate money for the process but it's doable i have seen people do it so you just have to weigh your finances and see if you are in a financial capability to start the process on your own because it can be a bit demanding financially uh the next thing is that you have to do most of the processes for yourself uh that is like CGFNS. You have to send your documents on your own to for uh, so that you can get the visa screen certificate. You also have to choose the board that you want to do NCLEX with and get registered with over here. And I know some boards are a bit tricky, but I used Illinois. Most boards that are friendly for international nurses are Illinois, Texas, and Montana. I think they don't ask for so much or so many requirements for the international nurses and they are good and easy to deal with. So if you're considering a self-sponsored way, you can consider those boards. And if anyone else has done uh, with another board and it was not uh, tricky, they can always add on that and when it comes to those boards it does not necessarily mean that that's where you will end up going those are just boards to register you and then when you come here you will have to do license endorsement it's not a tricky process it's quite straightforward like for me i live in montana so i did the license endorsement to montana from illinois so that's just a board to like get you registered with the us and the like to make you a usrn so that's just a board to register you it's not where you will necessarily live and the other thing is that for the study resources you have to buy them yourself and if you are in the self-sponsored way some of the study resources that you can use and buy are UAL, Archa, something, some materials you can get from YouTube, like you can watch Sarah, a uh, registered nurse, you can watch Mark Klimek, you can watch uh, Summit Studies. So basically, even for me who was in agency, I still bought UAL just out of preference you don't have to do it because the agency provides but for self-sponsored people uh, those study materials can help you and also maybe you can do Kaplan depending depending with your preference and sounders you don't have to do everything you just have to weigh what works for you and what you feel comfortable with and you also have to navigate through the NCLEX registration, the peer view regis registration, and the NCLEX booking. You have to know where to do it from. And most of the NCLEX centers, 
that we international nurses use are India, we have one in Delhi, New Delhi, and Mumbai, and Manila, Philippines, and South Africa. At least now it's closer to home, so you can go and do your NCLEX in South Africa, which is much cheaper than traveling all the way to Philippines. So all that you have to navigate it on your own. And the travels, of course, booking of the hotel, and also after the NCLEX results are out, you can check for yourself. Some agencies do it for us, but it's upon you to navigate. The beauty of doing the self-sponsored way is it's a bit faster because you are in control of the processes. You don't have to wait to be told, do your IELTS, do your NCLEX. No, you are the one controlling all the processes. So, as long as they go through because some like cgfns when you send your documents they might take some time before they they are um ready and you are given uh authorization to test so it might take time but at least you are in control and your process is deemed to be much faster than a person who started with an agency so that's the beauty of doing the self-sponsored way and when you are done with the NCLEX most people now join an agency to help them with the immigration process because you know the immigration process can be a bit tricky you don't know where to start you don't know how to contact the embassy you don't know how to go about the DS-260 and all that so most people now go to the agency and once you join an agency they will reimburse every money that you used up to where you are and then you will now sign a contract for the hours most of the time you will sign uh when you, the hours that you work when you come here will be the same most of the time as for the person who started with the agency but it's okay it's a win-win situation because you shortened your process during the first steps because uh, sometimes it can be quite long when you are with an agency so that's all about the self-sponsored way and now I will go to the agency way and the pros and cons so for me I used an agency I used a band and honestly I was clueless about this whole process so I really thank God because I felt the support I needed because I knew nothing I if I didn't have an agency I didn't know where to start I didn't know if I should do CGFNS if I should book the NCLEX first I had no idea so I really am so thankful because the agency was able to guide me so if you are a person like me who needs more guidance you can just start with an agency because it was honestly seamless and for the times you felt stuck and confused and giving up like they were there to encourage you so that was uh, something that I really am thankful for so for the agencies that you can use we have a band we have OGP we have MedPro we have Interstaff all those agencies and they are amazing in their own unique ways so you just have to go through their requirements and see what is compatible with you so that's up to you and when it comes to the processes they pay for you the cgfns they guide you they tell you what to do how to send the documents they pay for your NCLEX registration your booking your hotel not all because I think Interstaff does not pay for all that but once you pass the NCLEX they will reimburse you but OGP and Avant that I used they will pay for everything 
the travel they will book your hotel you will find the driver waiting for you to take you to your hotel like for me that was amazing because imagine i land in uh india and then i don't know what to do i even don't know how to take a taxi there there's this language barrier so it was so seamless you land there you have been communicating with your driver and they take you to your hotel they take you from the hotel to the exam room on the day of coming back they take you back to the airport so that was amazing so that's the beauty of uh doing everything with an agency is that they will be with you every step of the way until you come here and they will continue holding your hand until you are done with your contract um most of them uh just like self-sponsored there are some processes that you have to pay for yourself things like IELTS, things like your college transcripts, your NCK transcripts, all those you have to pay out of pocket, but it's not much. It's something that is doable. So whether you do with an agency or you are self-sponsored, the goal is one is to reach here and to live your dream. So that's upon you, whatever you do. But what I say is that everything has its pros and cons and it's all about where you feel comfortable and how God guides you um, for the agency it can be a bit slower because you know you are not the only student at that time there are many who need who need attention so it might be a bit slower compared to the self-sponsored way however I think it's okay if you are not in a rush and you're doing some things back home some projects and you just need something slow you need a slow start it's okay because for me I was okay with the whole process even though there was some times it got really slow and it was out of my control and I got a bit frustrated but in the end things worked out and I cannot blame the agency some things were, were, be, were not they were not they were beyond them some things were just beyond them and there was nothing that they could do uh, there's something else that said about the comparisons the pros and the cons and so I hope you can be able to like weigh and see what you want to use which way you want to use as you come here and i wish you the very best and thank you so much bye bye and god bless you